back from her humble beginnings as a makeup artist to singing back up for CeeLo and next performing with the Outcast crew. Our next guest was primed to take the music industry by storm, having originally recorded and released the hit song Don't Ya, later made famous by the Pussycat Dolls. Her project was scrapped before a video could be shot. Nevertheless, she's back with a renewed focus and determination to take the world by storm. So without further ado, welcome to the show, to our very own show, Miss Tori Alamaze. Tori, are you there? What's up? What's happening? Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, lady. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. This is pretty oh, well, cool. Oh, I appreciate that. You know, we yeah. try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let let's let's get right down to it. I got to ask this question because everybody's been asking me this, so I said, "Well, you got to hold on. Let me ask her on the show. What's the Have deal mercy. with the <laughs> Don't You Song? Why why didn't it happen for you as it appears it should have?" Well, you know what? Because of because of these questions that people have all over the world, everywhere I go, on my Facebook page. Also, it was on uh, TV One had an episode of Unsung where there was some information uh, stated by Elise Neal that was untrue. We felt the need to put it out there for the, all the public to see. So on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tori Alamaze, under my notes, click on notes, you will see in detail from beginning to end, written very comprehensively, very intelligently, you will see from beginning to end everything that happened, the truth, the facts surrounding Don't You. After a couple of years, I got tired of repeating myself because I've moved on and everyone else has stayed stuck there. And I got tired of repeating myself. It took a lot out of me. It just winded. It took. It took. Just took a lot. A lot from me. I had to press forward. So, if you're interested in all the details, just from A to Z, please go to my Facebook page. Click on notes, and you will see it right there. All the controversy surrounding. Don't you? Don't you? I got. I got to tell you, when I saw that Elise Neal's, uh came on that, and I remember that special you were talking about. I was like, Elise Neal, really? I mean, it, I got so many phone calls regarding that. <laughs> I couldn't even believe that that came from her mouth. It, it was just, I was disappointed in actually TV One that they didn't do a fact check. Like I was just really disappointed. Yeah. Basically, I was the little Mexican girl she described in her interview on the show. Oh but, no. Long story short, basically, I was CeeLo's artist. Um, we started recording the album. He and I have great chemistry together in the studio as artists. Um, I think he's very uh, genius in music. And he saw something in me, and I became his muse, according to him. And we recorded Don't You Was Just One of the Few, one of the many songs that we recorded together. The song um, started being played, DJ uh, Felly Fell from Power 106 began to play it in L.A. Um, a lot of people here in Atlanta didn't quite get it. Um, so a DJ came from L.A. and he he started playing it on the radio out there, and it just started to pick up um, spins. And next thing you know, we started having, um, you know, deals, deal offers from record labels. And it went from there, and it was a surprise to me, just like everyone else, when I get a call that, the the puss they would give the song to the pussycat dog just out of the blue. It was very it was a very confusing time because you were playing right. my my song my version and their version on the radio at the same time. My version was in the beauty shop. It was just really confusing. Um, I had to grow up really fast. I had to get it really fast. But I'm good. Yeah, you you mm-hmm. are good and you're back and you you've been back and you've done some amazing things. Now I'm on a personal level and I, and I read your bio. Your bio. Mm-hmm. When I first read your mm-hmm. bio, it seemed you had a meteoric rise to success, and then, then all of this stuff started happening. And the bottom dropped. You had the accident, the fire, family death, your mother mm-hmm. bout with cancer. How did mm-hmm. how did all this affect you and your career at the time? 
Well, before I started singing, I was doing, I was working behind the scenes in the entertainment business as a makeup artist, and that took me all over the world many times. Um, I decided to pursue music because I felt like, oh, I work with all these artists. I'm good at this. I can do this. They would hear me sing. They would compliment me. Um, it wasn't until I had a fire in 2002 that I decided to uh, really pick up my songwriting, go to New York, record with some producers, and really take my music seriously. The fire kind of reminded me of that, that life is short and anything can be taken away from you at any moment's notice. It was during the whole pussycat controversy where I didn't know what was going on. My management team, CeeLo, I was just confused. I was in the dark. No one was telling me anything where I found out my mom had cancer, my grandmother had died, my aunt had died from cancer at 42. It was all at the same time, yet I was still performing, yet I was still on the road, yet I was still doing interviews, radio shows. I was in a whirlwind, <laughs> a whirlwind. Wow. I, I, I took a moment one day. I just sat in my car, and I had to ask, who am I? I asked for this. I asked for this. What do I want to do? Who am I? I'm so confused. So I just had to take a pause. My feet, was, my feet were moving forward, but I had to take a pause. I had to step back. And, and 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 I know I'm tough. I know I got the it, but I I just had to take a pause and, and and put it all back together, put the pieces back together. I know I'm quite talented. I had to remind myself how talented I was. I would have to remind myself of this gift, and I had to remind myself that fans were out there that were still supporting me. When I went to Sweden and performed, I was just really surprised at the. Um, um, the attention that I got out there and how I was so well received. 